issue of innovation where a person feels that they know better than the messenger may peace be upon him the messenger peace be upon him was sent to us in order to teach us how to worship Allah that was the reason why he was sent he was sent to teach us how the Almighty wants to be worshipped so if anyone comes up with an act of worship that was not taught by the messenger peace be upon him he has directly insulted the messenger and he has also directly insulted Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the reason is what was the point of sending a messenger to teach us how to worship Allah when we think we know better than him may Allah protect us and sometimes people get so upset when we tell the people not to do things which were not done by the messenger they think perhaps you belong you belong to a sect that is deviant may the Almighty protect us there is no deviance in a sect that calls towards obeying the instruction of the messenger and abandoning anything in terms of acts of worship that he has not taught may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness the messenger has said on many occasions I leave with you two things for as long as you hold fast upon them you will never be led astray that is the book of Allah and my traditions my ways may the Almighty grant us a beautiful return to the path of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam brothers and sisters if you take a look at surah al-kahf towards the end Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the biggest losers those who do lots of deeds and they think they are doing good deeds but at the same time they have not followed the messenger's path and way and this is why they have lost <laughs> Say, oh Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, tell them, should I inform you of the one who is the greatest of losers or those who are the greatest of losers of their deeds? People who have spoiled their deeds completely. They are those whose struggle was always astray. They neither followed the path of the messenger. They did deeds acts of worship which were not taught not done by the messenger may peace be upon him and they thought that they were doing good Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar people who would like to add one rak'ah in the rak'ah of dhuhr or the afternoon prayer they would re it would result in the nullification of the entire prayer because we are only allowed the units which were done by the messenger may peace be upon him the same applies to all other acts of worship beloved brothers and sisters never ever think that there is a single act of worship that the messenger forgot to teach us never ever think that there is any act of worship that you may engage in that would be better than what the messenger has come with and never ever think that the messenger has not done the deeds which were enough for us to follow so now we need to come up with a new deed and a new act of worship that would result in the spoiling of your deeds may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness this is why towards the end of the same surah Allah says whoever is looking forward to the meeting with the Almighty they should fulfill two main conditions don't you want to meet the Almighty don't you want to meet your maker don't you want to meet the one who created you well if you want to meet him Allah says whoever is looking forward to the meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should make sure that they have two qualities in them one is that they do deeds that were taught by the messenger alone no extra deed don't think for a moment that you will achieve spirituality by doing a deed that was not done by the messenger may peace be upon him if you would like to know every deed of yours ask the scholars around you was this done by the messenger if it was not you do not need it in your life no matter where else it came from may the Almighty grant us purity you do not need it in fact it will be a point of your downfall and mine if we were to engage in deeds that were not done by the messenger may peace be upon him so if you look at the tafsir or the explanation of the term amal and salihan it means 
to do deeds that were taught by the messenger alone. Those are good deeds. Salih means that which is good enough and pure enough for acceptance. And the second condition that you would require if you want to meet the Almighty, and if you are looking forward to meeting your maker, you need to protect yourself from association of partners with Allah Almighty. May the Almighty grant us goodness. Brothers and sisters, Islam is very easy. It is us sometimes who add the salt and pepper to our religion in order to try and decorate it with innovation, not realizing innovation can never decorate your cake, but instead it will make it unpalatable that which can never be consumed may the almighty protect us from innovation of every sort